today we just found out the very sad news that she'd had a miscarriage and it's just terribly sad, isn't it? It is, Lorraine. I mean, I can't imagine the agony for any couple of uh, losing a child in this way. And it's so very, very sad. And of course, I totally agree with you. Uh, all thoughts with them today. Very much so. Very much so. Um, it's been a, a strange old time for you, hasn't it? It has been quite, um, you know, you've been working Oh, no, another the, book? The, the White Ship, which I actually read in a winter. And, and I had no idea about this part of history. Um, it's about Henry the, Henry the First who was on the throne. And then one incident, one ship goes down, and the whole of history has changed. It's so true. And, you know, today is the 900th anniversary of what I like to call a sort of the, the mixture between Titanic and Game of Thrones, because this one ship goes down with the only possible male heir to the throne, and it throws England into complete chaos uh, for 15 years, and then and then a total anarchy for 19 years, and at the end of it, all because the prince, uh, the, the king's only legitimate son, dies in this tragic shipwreck where we have one man's eyewitness account, the butcher on board who, who watched the ship go down. Uh, it's all because of that that we end up with the Plantagenets on the throne for 350 years before the Tudors bump them off. So, yeah, one tragic accident in the channel, and we end up with a complete change in history. It is quite remarkable, and it is, and for you, I mean, I know you... I always wonder why the, the British tolerate this stupidity called royal family, but I can say that definitely it's hard to believe he's Diana's brother because he's just... he did not inherit the good looks that Deanna had, uh, for one thing. And the other thing is she was a very honest person and he doesn't seem to be very honest. She loved to write these books. She loved the whole, the whole research. She loved all of that, you know, delving into this. But actually, you are going to go and dive and try and find this wreck. I am. I think it's optimistic, to be honest, because it is 900 years ago and it was made of wood. But we've done scientific research, a, a very interesting american guy roger michelle he, he he funds this sort of research and we know who cares who cares who cares who cares who cares who cares we're diving down there uh mid-december uh, i'm going to be getting into a, a very very thick who cares who really cares with all the things going on in the world who cares about 900 years ago a ship fell and then another king and another king who cares about all these kings i think jacques Prouvaire wrote Proverbs, the French poet wrote this uh, poem about all the kings, like just listing them and just saying, well, who really cares about all these people? Uh, the, the just the whole idea of a king is just so wrong. To try and find anything that's left of this. Blah, 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 blah. And let's talk about the crown. Not right now because there's this ongoing inquiry, of course. I wonder if you have, like, all of us, uh, all around the world, if you watch The Crown, or would it be just too painful for you to watch that? Well, I think yeah, it's painful I'm not a that... Crown, to be honest. I think it's it's painful that Diana had a brother and family, and I don't... I, I just think in The Crown, or just in her life, she must have felt very lonely, like Elton John's words, um, goodbye, British Rose, um... You were like a candle in the wind, never knowing who to turn, who to turn, where to turn to when the rain set in. So, and it seems to me that you led your life like a candle in the wind, never knowing who to turn to when the rain set in. So where was the where was the brother when she was struggling with all these issues? Why did she turn to all these men, all these lovers, instead of turning to her family? I don't think that family is very healthy because obviously they didn't support her. Otherwise, she wouldn't have felt so lonely and she wouldn't have felt the need to go from one relationship to another, constantly having all these lovers. A person that has a good supportive family doesn't binge on lovers. A person that has a strong foundation and the family, okay, let's say there was this divorce, this terrible childhood, but why aren't weren't the brothers brother and sister supporting her now it's too late but now he's like talking about how the tv series portrayed them falsely i think they actually were too kind i think i've caught a couple of episodes in the past i haven't caught any of the current series although uh, my wife had watched it oh um, you too busy the too busy doing nothing uh, the, 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 the actress portrayed the, 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 the 
playing violence. I do know a little bit. I think my general point. So he's too busy. He's doing book about the history of England 900 years ago about a ship that drowned, but he, he cannot be bothered to spend, what is it, an hour or two just watching an episode of a TV that is very, a TV show very popular in the world uh, that portrays his sister um, as a certain, from a certain point of view, as very, very vulnerable, very, very troubled. And he cannot even be bothered to address that because this is exactly the problem. I think it's a sort of family that doesn't address people's feelings. You know, we always talk about the royal family, how mean they were to Diana. But what about her own family? Where was he? Where were her sisters? It, it is a general one. You know, I write history. I, I, I brand what I write as nonfiction. And I think that's the issue. Recently, I've written this, and they know that we're getting, and that's the thing that all historians, I think it would help the crown an enormous amount if at the beginning of each episode it stated that this isn't true, uh, but it's based around some real because then, then everyone would understand. I think people understand that it's not true because it's actors and I think it's a little bit stupid. It's a drama. Of course it's fictional based, but it is based on a lot of research. And that this is drama to drama yeah, let's talk about making money when you publish a book and that I think nobody would even look at, but because you're Diana's brother, you're also making money from that. So, and you're making money from your family made money from uh, being in a certain position in this uh, society. So what the hell are you talking about? People making money making drama, at least they're doing something, they're offering a service to people. They're not like cutting ribbons in a supermarket five minutes and getting so much money from taxpayers. Worry that people do think that this is sort of... Orlando. Uh, that's unfair. You know, there's no other thing that humans consume. Okay, if we buy something in the big market, we can look on the back market and see what we're getting. Uh, I, I feel very strongly, and I've been thinking this for a couple of years, not just with the crown case. Uh, I remember the movie Titanic, the Caspian movie, there was a, a, one of the officers on board the original, but through Titanic is seen behaving in a cowardly way and named. And that, that was very upsetting to his descendants. And I just think, you know, what I do know with the current episode of Crown, which I found very upsetting, is that my Scottish uh, grandmother uh, was portrayed in this particularly unpleasant way. And that is not what she was like. And, you know, my grandmother may be long gone, sadly, but she still has a daughter alive and still has 10 grandchildren alive. And is it fair for people to be destroyed in that way? I, I don't think so, really. That is a very, very fair point, actually. And I think it's well, if she had a nice, warm, loving family, she wouldn't have had to go to strangers for comfort. Maybe the trouble with it is, is I think it's so close, because I remember it, but there's a whole generation who are growing up who probably didn't, you know, who obviously didn't live through that, and they're taking it from the crown, and they're thinking, well, that's the way that it happened. And I suppose that's, you know, that's part of the problem. I mean, in a way, it brings it to a, a whole new generation just what we lost um, when sadly Diana died. It's so true, Greg. And, you know, we're British, so we grew up with certain things on our TV and the news, etc. So with the crown, I gather that uh, Margaret Thatcher is very strongly there, etc. Et but we, we, we have already put Margaret Thatcher into context in our minds, or Diana, or whoever it is, you know. But for a global audience, yeah, this is a hugely globally significant series, uh, and for any movie that does this, you know, it's it's playing fast and loose with it, with history. Without saying that, nobody cares if they say, "Well, this is uh, what we're going to make of it," whether it's a movie or a TV series. But you just have to be honest with the consumer. I've actually hilariously had quite a lot of abuse on social media from Americans who think I'm saying they're ignorant. I'm not saying they're ignorant at all. I'm married to an American, so I wouldn't care. But the point is that they are uh, consuming something with the assumption that it's very, very accurate. And, uh, well, from what I know, and I, I, I don't know most of these scenes because I wasn't there. You didn't even watch it. I do know. No, it's not accurate. And that's not just the crown. That's an awful... Well... You didn't even watch it, and yet you say it's not accurate. So I would say you're a liar. And as for history, history is not a science. It's not an exact science. It's not math. It's someone's perspective of it. And I think they did a lot of research, went into this TV series. 
and so you didn't even watch it and you said it's not accurate so why doesn't the woman interviewing him instead of kissing his ass ask him if you didn't see it how do you know how the people were portrayed Well, he didn't see it, and he criticizes as being not accurate. I think that's ridiculous. And as for history being accurate, well, it's always from a point of view. I mean, he's not going to write. I, when he writes something, he has his own life experience that affects, that influences whatever he's writing. And being from this privileged family, surely when he writes history, it's going to be affected by that. You know, there's historians that write their they write about history it's always their objective account of it isn't it so um to say that people don't know what the content is uh i think they did great research i watched documentaries and deanna also gave interviews and she was very honest about what she said and they actually took the interviews and they built used it as the skeleton so what the hell is he talking about i've seen the interviews like real life interviews with diana and i've seen the crown and it's based on that and i think um yes there were things that they added because we don't really know what went on behind closed doors but um i think it's interesting to look at at those matters what happens to a woman who's very, very lonely in the royal family. And if she had a brother she could just pick up the phone and talk to, she wouldn't have, perhaps she wouldn't have needed to talk to the media. Perhaps she wouldn't have needed to have all these um, episodes because she would have had someone to talk to. I think a person that has someone to talk to doesn't go and trust strangers uh, with their stories. So why did she go to this... Uh, guy for Egyptian millionaire if she felt so good with her own family. I don't think they were warm and supportive. And I think actually the crown were, were quite uh, gentle on the family because you do wonder if that woman came from such a large family, where were they for her in, during her difficult times? Why couldn't he or her older, she, she has sisters that are older than her, why couldn't they have supported her during this difficult time? Why couldn't he or the sisters had a talk with Charles? Why couldn't they intervene on, on her behalf? Why did they just stand by and watch her just completely get destroyed? And because um, she was struggling for a long time, where were they? Because I didn't see her in interview her saying she gets support from anyone. She seemed very lonely and isolated in that palace. So easy to say now, you know, he's supporting the family's uh, name, but you know, what you do is, is, is who you are. You know, if you don't support your sister, if uh, none of you support her, then you're not really nice people. And no, I don't think the Crown attacked him or anyone, but it's very clear that a person that doesn't have her family around her is more vulnerable. That's how I feel anyway, and it's of course my subjective perspective as a person who also had difficult situations and did never, 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 never had a family um, to support her in any way, uh, except my mother for a short period, but when she supported me she also did the opposite. So she did something good, then she did something bad. So I had mixed messages constantly, which is the worst thing you can do to anyone. That you just give him a message that 
you can't trust anyone, anyone at all. And I think I strongly identify with Diana and a lot of people around the world identify with her struggle because if she had a good foundation from home, she wouldn't have married the man she married. She wouldn't have even stayed married to him. She wouldn't have let him take advantage of her. He's like in love. And let's, let's be honest about being honest.